I like the shoe how it falls out at the bottom. Ooh. It is quite pricey for one item. So it's paired it up with some gold jewellery. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I just thought today's video I could do a Zara styling haul. I just thought this would be the best opportunity to do this sort of video with obviously Christmas parties coming up. Christmas Day, the Boxing Day events, if you've got anything planned for Boxing Day. I just thought it would be a really, really, really good video. Just kind of show you what outfits you can wear, what clothes you might want to buy. Just give you like an idea of basically what route you want to go down when you, when you attend these events. I just bought a massive bunch of clothes from Zara. I don't actually order from Zara that much. I think I've got like the odd thing uh, that I've liked um, in the past. There's no particular reason for it. I mean, the stuff's lovely and I always find a lot of stuff on there that I do like, but I just think it is just down to the price. It is quite pricey for one item. I mean, there's not many clothes on this rack, but this whole rack cost is like 500 to 600 pound, which it is a lot of money. And I wouldn't dream of spending that amount. But obviously on this occasion, with obviously me going to a Christmas party soon, I thought, do you know what it is, just get a, like, a, a range of stuff and anything I don't like, obviously I can just send back and just keep an outfit that I want to wear for my Christmas party. So when I was looking online, I was looking at um, like loads of different clothes and I thought, do you know what it is, I'll just go for like loads of different styles and just kind of show these different styles. You might not want to wear a suit, you might not want to wear jeans. Depending on what event you're going to, whether it is going to be a casual one or a, a formal one, I've kind of just adapted the sort of type of event you might want to go to, but still kept it my style. All of these outfits I would definitely, definitely wear. I am going to pair it up with some of my clothes. And there is a lot of stuff here, to the point where they obviously couldn't put it in a bag. As you can see, just a big massive box it came in, and I've never ever ordered from anywhere before where they've had to put it in a big massive box. Definitely bigger bags, not a box. But yeah. So yeah, what I'm going to do for you today is try all the outfits on, show you what they look like. I am going to mix and match them to kind of show you, obviously, what will go with what. Obviously, because it's a, a styling video. Very excited for this video, and um, I'm going to... Start putting them on. Okay, so this is the first outfit. Um, this is the set blazer and set trousers in petrol blue. I absolutely love this one. Just paired it with me Doc Martens and a white Boohoo Man vest. Putting the vest on just makes it a little bit more, a little bit more casual, less formal, but still very stylish. And I just absolutely love the fit. So this is the back. Just fits in all the right places, just a really, really nice fit. I love the colour, I just think it falls right, and I just think it looks dead, dead nice with the vest in the docks. And I've just also put some some gold jewellery on. You can either keep it closed, or if you obviously want to open it up, you can also open it up as well. Ooh. Oops. It's really, really stylish and smart. Um, obviously this would be nice for like a formal event. It falls nice on the boot. I'm a massive fan of this one. I just think it brings out my skin tone really, really nicely. Obviously I know I've got fake tan on. Still just looks really nice against it. I just like it. So I've got the jacket in a 42 regular and I think this is probably just the perfect fit for me. If I was to go any bigger, I think it would be a bit too big. And this blazer cost is, I think, $89.99 The trousers I got a 30 They're really nice fit on the legs as well Not too baggy, not too tight It fits my waist nicely to the point where I don't need to wear both And for the trousers They were $49.99 So what we all that is Under 200 quid which I think is absolutely amazing for a two-piece set. But is that's an actually really, really good price for a blazer and trousers. If you think of it, it's more expensive elsewhere. And the thing with this is, you might only want it for your Christmas party, but you can literally re-wear it for any other occasion. You don't necessarily have to wear the docks. You can pair it with, with trainers if you want to cash it up a little bit more. I've 
just put mine with the vest but if you want to put a white shirt underneath yours then obviously feel free to do so anything will look really really nice with this so that's the first one and i'm happy with it and i think this is in the yes pile before my christmas party unless you don't want to take it off i actually make it that much so yeah really really pleased with this one I actually really, really, really like this one. So this is the next outfit. This is just some nice oversized wide leg trousers. And this is the black blazer. I don't know if it comes as a set. On the model, it looked like it was a set, but now that they've come, I'm thinking that they're different things. So I've just paired them with a black t-shirt and white trainers. This is more smart casual, made it more casual with the trainers and the t-shirt. It just looks dead trendy really like the fit of the trousers and how they sit on the trainer the wide legs not too much it is wide but i like the style of it and the blazer the blazer is lovely it's a nice fit the only thing is if i was going to get it again i would probably size up the blazer because it is just a little bit too structured for the wide leg trousers there's so much fabric there there's not much fabric to play with on the blazer which makes it just look a little bit too stupid so i've got a medium in this blazer i think i'll probably size up to maybe an extra large see how that would go i think even a large would be too small for obviously the trousers so i definitely think i'll probably go extra large and this cost is 49.99 it's really good quality it is a nice fit but like i say if i was going to wear it with these trousers i would size up these trousers i got a size small um, I'm glad I did because I nearly got a medium and these are absolutely huge but I like them. These cost is 29 99 I think that's a really really good price for a pair of trainers from Zora. A pair of trousers from Zora. So it's paired it up with some gold jewellery. I absolutely love the trousers. Like I didn't think I was going to like them with them obviously being really oversized and wide leg and I'm very tempted to just keep them for my day to day outfits. Can I afford it? Probably not. So you can dress it up more if you want to put some small shoes with it. It'll go really, really nice with the docks that I've got. And if you want to put a shirt underneath it to make it more smaller or a tie, then feel free to do so. But I would necessarily wear it like this. The all in black look. I think it looks really smart. It's definitely in the S pile. So we'll see. So this is the next outfit. Um, it's just a plain and simple light blue shirt, oversized. And I've just not got it tucked in. It's got an overlap in some black trousers that I got from Zora years and years and years ago. So yeah, I've not bought the trousers this time round, but I just thought, you know, the Zora, very fitting. I don't know whether these will still be about that. They're just some normal black trousers, um, wide leg. I've got them on with my Doc Martens. This light blue shirt I got from Zora, just really, really nice fit. I think it's very, very small, definitely for one of those small casual events. So the blue and the black go really well together. I think the fit of the shirt's perfect. Walls on the arms really, really nicely. Bags a bit as well. I like it tucked out. If you want to tuck it in, then it'll look really nice tucked in. Um, but I, if I was going to wear this outfit, I would wear it like this. Just again, kept my gold watch on and my gold rings. Bring out a bit with the accessories. I'm really happy. Really like the fit. I like the length that it falls at. Just think, and obviously the bagginess to it on the side complements my body type as well. This is the back, falls nice on the back as well. Just like a really nice fit, doesn't obviously make us look bigger than what I need to be. I got this shirt in a extra large, and this was, hang on. $49.99? No way have I bought a shirt for $49.99. That's a lot of money for a shirt. But, do you know what it is? Just chop that part in. You can tell it's really good quality. You can tell it's gonna last you a long time and it's just a really, really nice fit. So if you can justify 50 pound for a shirt, just go and buy it. It's a really nice color. And I just think the outfit as a whole is just really, really nice. I've worn something similar to this before in the past. But if you scroll on my Instagram, you'll see it. Most of these outfits that I've bought, you can wear them for Christmas Day, but they are things that you can wear for other occasions as well. So if you can get your money's worth out of all of them, then fair dues. I think if I do keep this shirt for the cost of it, uh, 50 quid, I think I'll be sleeping in it. But so far, so good. 
I'm liking most of the outfits and it's getting us a little bit excited for the Christmas party. This is the pink v-neck knit jumper on top of a white shirt that is my own and the same black trousers I was wearing with the blue shirt. Absolutely love this. I'm going for that sort of smart casual vibe again. Just kept my eye, took my Morton's up. But if you wanted, you can literally pair these with some white trainers. Just make it look a little bit more casual. I think this is a dead nice fit. The jumper itself is really, really good quality. It's a nice colour and it just falls nicely as well. I think I got this in a... So I got this in a size large to extra large. And to me, it's smaller than what I thought it was going to be, but it's still a really, really nice fit. If I probably did go for like a bigger size and it did come bigger, I don't think I would have liked it as much. I think it's nice with it obviously being fitted around the sides a little bit more. It doesn't look like it drowns us. It goes nice with the shirt as well. I, got, I think I got the shirt from Primark and I think this is an extra large shirt. Yeah, so this is an extra large shirt and obviously these are the black trousers from Zora. The outfit itself looks really nice and I've paired it with my gold jewellery again. I love my gold jewellery. So this is how it falls on the back. I like how the knit jump arch obviously sits at the waist and the shirt obviously because I've not tucked it in just obviously frills out at the bottom it's on the butt as well it makes the outfit look a little bit more trendier you really help me with this and as time goes on the more and more outfits i try on the more i want to keep everything so i don't know what i'm gonna do this is a really nice outfit to wear for like a christmas party boxing day christmas day whatever you choose i think the, the contrast of the colors go really well together as well with the white the pink the gold the black i'm dead happy with this and this was twenty nine ninety nine. That's a fairly reasonable price for like a knit jumper. Obviously, I know it's sleeveless, but we saw that because it's such a good brand. The quality of clothing as well, you don't have to worry about because it is just it's excellent quality. That's going in the keep pile with the other ones. So this is the next outfit. This is the cream wide leg trousers and a knitted grey roll neck jumper I just I think it just looks dead trendy I like how the two colours contrast away from each other the fit of the trousers is just really really nice and I paired it with some white trainers you could possibly wear this for a Christmas party you could possibly wear this for Christmas day a Christmas market it's just like a nice smart but casual look the jumper I absolutely love I think it's a perfect fit I've just kind of tucked that in with the trouser um, you can wear it out if you want to make it look baggy and bigger but if I was going to wear this outfit I would wear it like this it's a really nice fit on the arms, dead thick, dead good quality I'm already feeling warm in it so that's a good thing the neck is doubled up with fabric so that'll be really really good for the cold weather I really like it and the fit of the trousers are nice this is the back just nice fit trousers don't bag too much on the back which I like, kind of still shows you the shape of you. Um, Ball's really nice on the, on the train as well, I don't know if you can see that. Honestly, trying all these clothes on makes it so hard to know what I want to keep and what I want to send back because at the minute, I just want to keep everything. So for the knitted jumper, this is a size medium and I got this for 45 99 which I think's all right for a knitted jumper. I find that when you put the clothes on and you say the price, it kind of justifies the price because the quality of the clothes just feels dead good. You can tell it's going to last a long time. So the size of these trousers are a size 30 waist. These were 49.99 for trousers, which I think is all right. I mean, they're nice enough. I would wear them. I'll probably get my money's worth out of them. And uh, just think it overall it's just a really, really nice outfit. So I'm I'm pleased about that. Pair it with the gold jewelry again. I find that most of these outfits go with the gold jewelry. If you want to stick them with silver, then experiment, do it your style. But yeah.
This is just the same knit jumper that I was wearing before. You just paired it with some black trousers instead of the uh, white cream ones. I've paired it with some Doc Martens. If you want to keep it all dark colours and not put any light ones in, it's really nice, really casual. Still smart, but just for them and call our events to see if you were like, I don't know, like. This might just be like a nice Christmas market idea. It's warm, obviously you just need to put like a coat on top of it. Really simple, really stylish. Absolutely love this wool neck jumper. Just think it looks really, really nice on, really nice fit. and goes really, really well with the black trousers. Just kept the gold jewelry on, standard. This could do like for like a, a Christmas day outfit. Not really dressing up that much, just keeping warm, enjoying the day, but still looking dead trendy. That's just one outfit idea. Now, if it's a very casual event you're going to and you don't need to dress formal, I've just paired this knitted roll neck jumper with a pair of jeans. Maybe going down to the pub or maybe just going out for a meal at a casual place. You don't really need to be putting on blazers and trousers. You can just wear the simplest of things. Then there you are. These jeans are from Boohoo Man and I've just paired them with some white knife trainers and I've just kept my gold jewelry on again. I just think it's a really, really nice casual outfit. Like, you don't need to try too hard. You don't need to worry about what you look like. Just pair of jeans and jump on, stick it on, off you go. I just think the jump has a really, really nice fit. If you feel like you want to tuck it in, tuck it in. But if I was wearing it with jeans and it was just casual, I would just keep it hanging out. So, yeah, there's another outfit for you. So the next outfit I have in mind is just this chocolate brown jumper tucked in with these nice textured checky trousers. Put me white knife trainers to um, make it more casual. Like again, this is probably more small casual. You've got your small trousers and you've just got a, a plain chocolate brown jumper. I like the trousers, they're just a nice fit and they sit on the trainer really really nice as well. Just obviously went with the browns, I think tucking it in just gives it that little bit of style rather than it just dropping straight away. So I've kept my gold jewellery on because I think this looks really nice with the outfit. If you want to bring them out and obviously make it just a look, look a little bit more accessorised then feel free to do so. just think that it's a really nice fit the jumper. I've backed it out a little bit to make it look a little bit more bulky around the sides and around the front and the back. This is the back. I think this is just a really nice fit of the trouser, just hugs the leg really, really nicely. And the back of the jumper is just really nice as well. I think this is just a really nice casual outfit, and I'm happy with it. And, so I put it in the other. It's not in. So with the jumper, I got this in a size large, and I think this was $27.99. Correct us if I'm wrong, but I believe it was $27.99. Yep, $27.99. It's a really good price for a jumper, um, especially with it being from Zara. And these trousers I got in a size 30 waist, um, obviously plus 50 waist. And these cost $49.99. Again, a bit pricey for trousers, but you know, you get what you pay for. It's really good quality and it fits really nice. And the outfit as a whole, I'm just a fan of. So this is another outfit idea. Um, I've just kept on the chocolate brown jumper and the, the brown tricky pants. Um, I've stuck a shirt on with it, just made it look a little bit more visible just to give it that smart look. Kept the jumper just lying on top of the shirt with the shirt coming out at the bottom. Um, obviously if you're attending that smart event but you still want to look quite trendy. It gives it that oversized look. I love the oversized look now, I don't think I'll go back. To being um, wearing things that fit is. And this is the back. Like I say, I like the shirt how it falls out at the bottom. It's like the same outfit but with the shirt on and it just smartens it up. I've changed the trainers to me Doc Martens, obviously, again, giving it that smarter look. Just really trendy, really nice. Just another outfit idea as if you are struggling. You don't have to abide by one outfit, you can mix and match them to make them your own which is what I'm trying to do. Whether you think they look good or not is a different story, but if I wanted to look smarter, then I wouldn't necessarily do this. Like I said before, you can mix and match all the outfits. So if you want to create more of a, like, a contrast outfit, then I've kept on 
the chocolate brown jumper and I've paired it with the cream and white trousers put it on with my white trainers and I just tucked in the jumper and pulled it out a bit so it bulks around the area and I've kept my gold jewellery on shock this is what it looks like on the back I've done quite well all the stuff practically goes together which I'm really happy with I just think this again would be a really nice casual Christmas party outfit not too much, not too little and just looks really stylish, trendy and yeah, I feel like you can't go wrong with a pair of trousers and a jumper it's just got that nice oversized look to it baggy on the arms, baggy around here and obviously the baggy trousers so yeah I think this is a really really nice outfit idea yeah. so the next thing I picked up was this navy blazer and I paired it with the cream white trousers white night trainers this outfit I absolutely love I've kept the white t-shirt underneath in my opinion with obviously with the trousers and the blazer if I put a shirt on it would look nice it would look very very smart this blazer looks really really nice it's just a really nice fit this is the back it's just a nice navy colour bulks on the sides nicely and I just think the outfit itself obviously because the contrast in it just looks dead stylish, dead trendy. This blazer costs $79.99. Bit pricey, but it, it, at the end of the day it's a blazer and sometimes blazers are very expensive. And I got this in a size 42 regular and the outfit itself is just, I just love it and I would definitely wear this for a Christmas party. Um, it's definitely going in the S pile. There's a lot in the S pile and nothing in the no pile, so it's going to be a bit of a struggle. If you also wanted to wear it open, it looks really nice open, just kind of shows off more of the t-shirt style. I would probably wear it either way, depending on how I feel on the day, whether I feel bloated or not. This t-shirt needs a bit of an iron, but we'll look past that. Really, really nice open as well, it just lets the blazer fall a bit and bulk out the sides more, and just kind of show that little bit of a structure across the t-shirt. But yeah, that's the last outfit of this styling try on haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the clothes that I've put on, the clothes that I've chose. I think it's been a massive success because I just think it all looks dead, dead nice. I think this is the first time doing a haul on YouTube and actually having nothing to send back. And of course, it would be the most expensive haul I've ever purchased. So that's just brilliant. Um, so I'm going to have to have a long and hard think about what I want to keep and what I want to send back. 100% I can tell you I am not not sending stuff back because £600 is a lot of money to just be looking for a Christmas party outfit and end up having a whole new wardrobe. I would get me wear out of every single thing that I bought so maybe I do just keep it because the money's gone now. It's not like I've got it on claw now or anything like that. But I think the video's been a success. I've loved every single piece of clothing on. Even when I've mixed and matched a couple of the clothes, it's been a really, really nice outfit I've put together. Well, <laughs> I think so anyway. Let us know what you think in the comments below, whether you've enjoyed the video, whether you've liked certain outfits, whether you didn't like some of the outfits. And with sizing and stuff like that, I've done really, really well. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel because I really, really, really appreciate the support. Um, like I say, I'm just starting out on YouTube and I've only got a couple of videos on there. So even if you're just liking the video, it shows a lot of support and I do see it. And if you comment, I'll always comment back. Hopefully you choose one of the outfits that I've chose. If you do like the outfits, what I'll do is I'll link all the products in the description below because if you liked it that much you might as well just go straight on there and purchase it. But yeah, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it, I hope you've liked it and, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers!